Wait for the thumb, wait for the thumb. <laughs> do you hear that? Ooh, you yeah, hear? I did. Good morning and welcome to this vlog. Now my face is still pending because I still need to wash it and also cut my hair. I thought I'd vlog because today we have a mechanical engineering boat trip in the evening and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. But before that, I have lunch with a friend, which I'm not sure I'm gonna vlog, but I might take some pictures. And I'm gonna go into uni to hopefully film a couple of people doing their lab work. So you guys can see what happens in the day of the life of a PhD student at University College London. So I really hope you enjoy this vlog, grab some popcorn and join me in the day of the life of a PhD student. Hopefully I look a little bit more presentable now. I've had a shower and everything and I've actually cut my hair. And I need to cut my hair once every single week just because it grows so fast. If your hair grows fast, also comment down below and tell me how annoying that is. So after my morning routine, which took many hours, I'm now going to meet that friend for lunch and hopefully I can vlog as much as I can. Also guys, if you want an apartment tour, just let me know because I'm thinking of doing an apartment tour. Okay, it's not that beautiful, but it is a flat in central London and I can show you kind of what it looks like and how much rent you're expected to pay. Comment down below if you want to see an apartment tour. So when I say I don't have a wide angle lens, this is exactly what I mean. This is a 24 millimeter wide angle lens and right, right now you can see all my face and I'm actually not using a contraption. That means I have to hold something massive underneath the camera. And you can see this is perfect for vlogging. However, this lens right here is not made for my camera and therefore it does not have autofocus, which means that it just keeps getting blurry. I want to buy a wide angle lens. Do you think I should buy a wide angle lens and do lots more vlogs? Once I have a wide angle lens, I'm just going to do so many vlogs. But it is really expensive. It's around £500 to get one cheap one with autofocus. Do you think it's worth it or not? So what Yankee is trying to do is to do some rheology measurements on her solution and she's just trying to figure out. I showed her yesterday how to do, use this machine but it has so many different steps that you will never remember in one. But anyway, this machine is not the easiest to set up. So what you're doing right now, this is basically the way it works. Is So there's a spindle here and it goes into your polymer solution and it moves around with this motor here and this thing moves around. And it kind of measures the force that it pushes through it so then somehow with magicery also formula you can figure out the rheology so the viscosity of a solution and essentially viscosity if you know how to work it out is basically the shear stress divided by shear rate or something along those lines i'm not too much of a technical expert on rheology but <laughs> yeah yankee's trying to figure out how to use this and i'm kind of not helping her at the moment but i should i'm in the other lab now and it's empty at the moment but i am just going around and just doing nothing really Look at all this stuff that's just laid out. Somebody's definitely doing an experiment here. It's 
scales are still left open. Watch this, yeah. Someone's actually done some sort of <laughs> calculation. Someone's actually done some sort of calculation formula stuff on the actual table. This is the dedication they're going through to solve some of these stuff. Gonna be doing a 15 minute set and it's gonna be all sorts of like sad boy hour music so I hope you guys like it. <laughs> Tell me how I'll be supposed to be talking every day I'll roll like a penny spend nights with so many so cut out my name of madness and madness will feel the same as you rise in the darkness my bottles of liquid pain so once again i've come into the second lab and almost just carefully doing some experiments we're just going to shadow him without saying anything because apparently he needs to concentrate he's doing sciencey stuff Let's see what exactly he's doing because this he's actually using a syringe <laughs> measuring a specific amount I'm putting it into the flask. That's a mixing flask, isn't it? But I think he's working on something to do with drug release or drug delivery. And you usually have to use this machine. You put a cuvette through it and it measures the, the basically the density of a liquid by passing a laser through it at different wavelengths. But yeah, he's just got his stuff lying around. This is the polymer he's using and that's the scale. I do apologise for the wind noise if it's making a lot of noise but we are kind of here early and this is the, the pier that we're supposed to be in and this is where the boat trip starts but we're just walking along this pier sort of area and as we can see the lovely area of Pimlico it's a very nice place, didn't realise that it was this nice and there are birds in the distance there's a lovely cafe over here that we might go to we're just enjoying the nice scenery just chilling with the birds right now and the scenery there's a nice little bridge there actually look very nice bridge it's just a really nice place to sit down and chill been affected by Brexit. Like we are. Yeah, make those fuckers at KCL jealous. Yeah, we got... And in the cupboard on the port side of the boat, in the door where you boarded. We are in constant contact with all other vessels on the River Thames. If you just look through that window there, you will see MI6. I mean, what can I, I, what can I say? Like, I introduce yourself. I don't want to. I don't want to say. What's your name? She, she's, she's a new postdoc. Like, she probably has better, like, in more... In
wife, but there's so many times. <laughs> Mind your head. That's very silent. I can't hear. Oh. Wait for the thumb. Wait for the thumb. <laughs> you hear that? You hear? Yeah, I do. So I'm back home now. It was a very nice boat trip and I had a really nice evening but it's the next day. I couldn't film the whole thing because it did get dark afterwards and I did take a picture of a few people which I need to email now back to them. So if you enjoy this vlog please subscribe for more content like this and also more content around my PhD. If you like this video you know what to do and as always thank you for watching.